you're on your own and you are just experiencing so many symptoms like why why is your body fighting against you literally like what is going on god it's not so good i wanna all night say it i wanna all night i wanna all night say it i wanna all night hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it Every time I turn on this camera and I see myself, I just want to laugh because it's going to be another four weeks before I turn it on again and have something to say or film. But I promise you, it's not on purpose. Like, that's kind of the focal point of today's video. So, welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for not throwing me away. Thank you for even clicking to see what she has to say this time around. I'm just trying to get past this phase. Of what is going on in my life and I feel like once I do that I will be more consistent the reason I took a break from posting and even Instagram is because like I said I've been dealing with hormonal imbalance issues that led to some I don't know if I can say complications but just reproductive health issues that, that led just the lead the lead the go that led to me having to have a procedure done because it was like really bad it was affecting my health and the symptoms just worsened this past few months and i was seeing hell like i'm not even gonna wish this on my worst enemy trust me if you are born a woman everything is already against you men have challenges too i know this i'm not trying to downplay it but the challenges that men face is more man-made it's more societal it's more like expectations from society but as women there's both expectations from society and then there's natural issues that you do not even sign up for but will just be coming at you left and right and i'm like just because i have a just because i have a uterus what's all this like you just be on your own and your tummy will start growing and you don't even have fibroid you are not pregnant so what is it what is it you're on your own and you're just experiencing so many symptoms like why why is your body fighting against you literally like what is going on why is everything against you and you, sometimes you don't even have the answers all the things that i've been through i'm going to put some symptoms on the screen some of the things that i went through as a result of my health complications i'd be health challenges i'd be issues i don't know what to call it but i'll put it on the screen and see hmm, if you had to live in my body for a month trust me you will have mood swings you will be highly irritable you will be uninterested in anything you will lose zeal you would ah god i can't explain it and then you just be on your phone and you're just trying to like find something to make you happy or lighten up your mood and somebody is there in your dms talking about hey riri i'm in your city Had it been I know you now? Had it been yeah, I know you now? I give you a dirty slap. What do you want? Why are you saying like? Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, and I don't want, I'm not even expecting people to understand. Honestly, those that get it, get it. Those that don't, I don't care. All I'm saying is, it is a lot. And I think the hardest part about all of this for me is the fact that you still have to show up every day regardless. If you had a nine to five, it's not gonna care that oh your uterus is acting up or your ovaries are doing something or your fallopian tube has some issues you're gonna go to work say if you're a student for example and you had exams going on everything is gonna keep happening and you're just gonna be expected to wake up dress up even still look good and still smile at everybody it took a while for me to recover because even before the procedure i had um, iron deficiency it was part of the symptoms I was dealing with and I became anemic as a result of that and I even had to like my GP called me I was like they called me it's not even a text they called me for you to know how much of an emergency it was and they were like what are you doing right now leave it go to the hospital go to the nearest e and &E and tell them that you need a blood transfusion because are literally about to drop down like you can faint any minute from now and when they called me and told me that i was like ha is it this bad because 
I knew that my body doesn't feel like my body anymore. I knew that I was going through some stuff or some, I don't know, the fact that people don't take those things seriously and you can't really tell somebody for them to understand what it feels like. It just made me feel guilty to want to complain. So I just, thank God the procedure was a successful one and I, the symptoms stopped but they did not completely go away because I, at the end of the day I still have a terrors. After the whole procedure, I just wanted to be in bed and not do anything. Like, even if I had work to do, I would walk in my bed under my duvet, just put my laptop on the bed, do what I have to do, close it, sleep, wake up, repeat the same thing. Like, I just wasn't interested in getting dressed, going out, doing any makeup, all of that stuff. So, I was like, this video that I even filmed, or this, um, yeah, the one I'm about to show you guys of the things that I eat. I filmed it a long time ago but because I didn't film this intro I couldn't post it so I had to just leave it until now that I'm ready to film this intro so I can post it but it was just a lot happening. I just thank God that the symptoms have reduced and that I'm slowly getting back to myself again because Tell me why I'm not even. It's not like I I am I plan to have kids now. So why am I going through all this nonsense? And it doesn't end. You know you can even get to menopause and still experience. Oh. <sighs> hmm. I'm not even gonna question each other. All I have to say is, if you're a woman, if you're a lady, if you are a female like me. Please, please and please, don't let any other thing stress you because naturally a lot of things will stress you that you can't even control. So please, don't let anything outside of that stress you. Don't let any... I come online sometimes and I see some videos and like all those ridiculous podcasts where some men will be like, oh, if you are um, a woman, why don't you want to have kids as a woman? That's literally what you were placed on earth to do. And I'm just... You, you see the things that they be saying in the comments and I'm just I fight the urge to reply every day to reply some ridiculousness that I see online some points some opinions some perspectives that guys have about women when I just come online I'm upset but I'm not gonna let that you know ruin my mood and make this video long we're not here to talk about all that anyways like I was saying um I've talked about so many other things that I feel like should have a uh, video of its own maybe some other time but to the point the focal point of this video which is what I eat in a day what I'll be showing you guys would not have any dairy or any um you may say gluten but it's not gonna have any dairy because that's for me for my health and me on getting to understand my body with all the things that I've been through I realized along the line that dairy is not really the best thing for me like it really worsens my symptoms and although some people will tell you not to eat gluten if you have like hormonal imbalance issues let's say PCOS or PMS or any of those things fibroid cysts if you are prone to any of that too they will tell you to avoid gluten so you don't gain weight but I mean for me, I've been having gluten since I was a kid. I eat rice, I eat pasta, I eat wheat, I eat literally everything that contains gluten, bread and all of that and it doesn't really do anything to me. Again, like I said, my own issue is with dairy. Anytime I eat dairy, like literally animal products, milk, cheese, I can take eggs because like that's, that doesn't really affect me but I'm just saying for you to help yourself when it comes to your health and your body your reproductive health as a woman you need to study your body you need to go for checkups go for checkups go for tbs go do your pap smear your regular pap smear. I mean, it's not like a gynecologist <laughs> if i tell you the discovery from just the symptoms i've experienced this past few months guy anyways go for checkups do your pap smear regularly do a tbs do anything you need to do to know what your reproductive health status is and what you can do to improve it because you never know you just you may not even feel any symptoms and you may not experience any things you may have regular periods you may not even have cramps you know some people don't have cramps like me i did not used to have it but when my symptoms worsened i had the worst kind of cramps so please go for a checkup so you can know how to 
um, manage your symptoms before they get worse and yeah what was i saying dairy is my problem dairy and sugar so i try to cut that down and you won't see me use that in what i'm going to be making today but um before we go into the video let me show you guys some supplements that i also added to my um diet recently because they really help with like just balancing your hormones and substituting for like nutrients that you may be lacking from your diet because you can't really when it comes to diet it's not everything you like to eat so you may not get all the healthy like nutrients that your body needs vitamins and stuff so i have some supplements here that i use they have really helped improve my metabolism balancing my hormones ovulation um period period symptoms generally um your menstrual cycle health and all those things so let me just show you guys this is one of the most important ones this is omega-3 fish oil if you don't eat a lot of protein for breakfast you can have this let me show you guys what it looks like inside yeah and i hate this smell i like this smell i don't have a choice um this is b12 um i don't really like this song because of the way it's supposed to be taken like you're supposed to be under your tongue and wait for it to dissolve and it takes too long to dissolve but i don't have choice to oh, i need it but yeah that's what it looks like this is vitamin c it's um bioflavonoids and rose hip i'll put the benefits on the screen That's what it looks like. And then it looks like a lot. It looks like a lot. And if I'm being honest, it's a lot, but it's very necessary. I'd rather take this than have to worry about like the things that I eat, getting these nutrients from actual food. Because ah, I don't have that. If you're the kind of person that likes to cook, then good for you. Because it's better to get this from food, but for somebody like me who's not going to cook three times a day i will supplement sorry i will supplement then this is um inositol it has chromium and folic acid there are some other supplements that i don't even take that are actually very important because i'm not trying to bombard my body i'm trying to just ease into it slowly so i think some people take um curcumin curcumin and one other one i can't remember the name for yeah this one this is what it looks like and my issue with these pills is that they are so fat ah, God. i hate swallowing shit i need to even drink water daily i have to add like lime or just something orange is just to make the water have flavor so i can drink it or tea like i always oh yeah I always I take spearmint leaf tea. This tea is also very good for somebody with hormonal imbalance. Your metabolism is slow, and you're the type of person who doesn't drink a lot of water and you take this. It's gonna aid digestion. It doesn't have taste, but it has flavor and smell. So you can add a spoon of lime or lemon or cider. I use cider vinegar as well. Um what else? Oh yeah. This is magnesium and zinc tablets. I'll put the benefits of this on the screen. I'll take this as well. That's what it looks like. Then, I think that's all. Yeah, so these are all the supplements that I use on a daily basis to just balance my hormones and help with my metabolism and stuff like that. So without talking too much, let's go into the kitchen and let me show you guys how I cook on days that I'm feeling like it. Let's go! Guys, yeah, so for breakfast, this is what I'm having. Um, it's a whole wheat brown bread. And it's going to be an avocado toast, garlic, eggs. This is just vinegar that I'm going to use to mix the wild rockets because i don't like plain wild rockets then some green beans 
let's get to it guys so there's gonna be voiceovers in some parts of the video because there was so much background noise that i had to mute some parts of it i'm trying to make garlic bread so i was just spreading garlic over the bread to put in the oven <laughs> Now that I know they have benefits and it's not so bad when you could just eat it too, that's why I didn't put too much, just eat it too. It's not so bad because it like comes out really nice. I'm just going to do another one. So I just placed it in the oven and let it heat for about 10 minutes. You can do less or more depending on how crunchy you want the bread to be. But I like it really crunchy so I just kept it for 10 minutes. Anyways, next up, I cut the green beans in half so I could boil them. You could roast them in the oven if you like, but boiling is faster. Then I cut up the avocado, take out the seed and squeeze it out in a plate. And then I mash it and add salt and pepper. You can add whatever you like, but that's just what I like. Then I boil the green beans. While that is boiling, I check on the bread to see if it's ready and then I just spread the avocado mash i don't know what to call it paste all over the bread then i slice up the boiled egg and just spread it over the bread you can fry the egg you can add or remove whatever you like some people put bananas anything that's the beauty of this breakfast is the fact that you can work it out to your taste or your liking then next i add the wild rockets into the already boiled green beans then I add the um, vinegar, then salt, then pepper, you can add butter, you can add olive oil, just whatever you like. You can even add lime or lemon so just to make it sour if you want. And yeah, that is it for breakfast. That's just me saying it slaps, by the way. So for lunch, we're going to be having stir fry noodles, I think Thai style and some veggies, some sugar, snaps and some carrots. Let's get to chopping. I just cut the snaps in half and I thinly slice the carrots, then I grate the garlic, then what's next? Let's see. Yeah, drizzle olive oil in the pan and then fry the meat just as you're frying it you spread it out with a spoon and mash it until it's completely brown then you can season it with salt keep that aside and then you boil the noodles just a little bit not until it's totally soft you boil and you rinse with cold water then you add the sugar snaps you add your thigh seasoning, you can use any seasoning you want, you can use soy sauce, you can use teriyaki sauce, then added the carrots, added some more thigh spice and then just a little bit of water for the sauce, I think I was checking my phone, I don't know what I was doing there, then you add the noodles and you stir, this is probably the easiest of all like dishes that i cook and um, yeah that's it i give this one a 10 over 10 because teriyaki sauce slaps anything thai or indonesian count me in so guys for dinner i made potato mash with red wine chicken and mushroom stew um i absolutely love this one because red wine stock paste is the real deal guys thanks to hellofresh anyways i started getting tired at this point like i thought i pressed record when i was chopping and washing the potatoes but i did not let me just say that i soaked it in vinegar water before chopping since i wasn't peeling off the skin then i put it to boil after that i fried the chicken and the mushrooms together then i seasoned it with some pepper and salt um i, I can't remember if i added garlic but you can add garlic if you want then i just stirred that for a bit and added a little bit of water to allow it to simmer 
then I started adding all the spices and the stock and paste and stuff I added the red wine juice paste first then I added some water because it was drying up then I added the dried cranberries then I just allowed it to simmer and if it got too thick I just added more water then at this point the potato was done boiling like you have to let it boil till it's totally soft and you can run a knife through it then i added a scoop of butter to the potatoes and the butter is vegan and dairy free by the way then i added some almond milk and then i mashed it seasoned it after mashing and yeah at this point my phone started overheating and i just threw it in the fridge because uh, it was just a lot then i continued mashing that's where the work is after that i added a little bit of butter into the chicken and the mushroom stew and then i let that simmer and then i served Ugh, i really served anyways guys this was dinner for me and this was so good guys like it was even better than my breakfast i'm not gonna lie i love mashed potatoes with any kind of chicken and mushroom sauce even if it's not red wine sauce it's just amazing So guys, that's it for what I eat in a day, hormonal imbalance edition. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video when I'm uploading it, but yeah, that's it. Um, you guys can check my Instagram because I have like a story highlight dedicated to things that I cook and things that I'm trying to add to my diet, things that I'm learning about the health benefits and just things that I would recommend if you're also dealing with hormonal imbalance issues without wasting your time i'm going to close this video now thank you guys so much for watching thank you for still being here and not giving up on me despite my inconsistency um i know that all oh, this explanation I shall I anyways once i get my shit together i promise you guys i'm going to be very consistent i mean i did not monetize this channel to dump it it's not possible i mean i got there I'm gonna even do a video about how I was able to monetize my channel but I, I can't say when <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you guys when I see you guys